Yes. Wait, wait, wait. We were talking about the portrait painting. Yeah. But I want to also say we are in summertime. It's a hot summer. Yeah. And there on the table are mangoes. Oh yeah. And star that. fruits. Yum. I picked these today from and the garden. And picked them from my garden, yeah. my home. This is my home. And I invite everyone because this yard is full of fruit trees all over. So if we don't paint a portrait, we can paint a still life. Yeah. And then if we don't paint a still life, we can eat. We can the eat the still life <laughs> and get rid of it. Isn't that something? Yeah. Fair? Well, let's go back to painting me and you paint. Oh yeah. Well, we decided we're going to paint each other. Didn't we? Yeah. And um, how did you? We, we we both use we we use a, a traditional technique. We both yes. use a traditional technique called grisaille. Yeah, exactly the grisaille. The grisaille technique, so which you taught me. Yeah, and which someone taught me. Yes. You know, always transmit the the knowledge onto somebody else, and I someone taught and me, so and I taught it, Ruby. It lives on. Yeah. It lives on. And um, yeah, I approached. But this, 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 this is the painting I did of Ruby, and this is the one she yes. did of me. They are the same size canvases. Yeah, they are. They are 16 yeah. by 20 inches. Yeah. Yes. And we both started out with the process we did was, um, first we did a, an ink drawing of, um, I did a, an ink drawing with you, you did an ink, ink drawing. drawing. Yeah. And then and we, we put a, 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 what, a ground colour over the top of it, and then mm -hmm. once the ground colour, with you, I used uh, a, an umber, and with me, did you use the... I was walking when I look at you, Steph, yes, and I know you live so close to the sea, mm -hmm. on the beach, you know, the beautiful blues mm -hmm. and, and, and the viridian greens. Mm -hmm. I put there in your background and in your brown color because I said, your blonde hair would stand out so nice against that background. And there is a soft little glow of mm -hmm. Indian yellow way in glowing coming true. Mm -hmm. And I told you, remember when I told you, Steph, you're such a great friend, and I see in you an angel, <laughs> and then I said she should have a glow, some halo or some aura I was seeing. And I did it. No, it's a beautiful I aura. did it, I did it. So we saw each other. Yeah. It was something very uh, spiritual too. Yeah, because we, we, we're great friends, we know each other, so um, we can see if each other's personality. Personality. Um, with Ruby, um, I started with the, the umber and then, and then, but I wanted to bring out her her, her sense of humour because she's got a mischievous, a very keen sense of humour. I was going to say that you have it. Yeah, no, you, you, you have the You to make me laugh all the time. Well, I think we're probably like a ping pong match. She back, it's what joke me, and I, I get it back at her. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. What <laughs> a, you know, if everybody could have a friendship like this. Yeah. I have yeah. never, for years, I know you're now, Steffi. Mm -hmm. And I can call you and either tell you it can't go on anymore. It is happening. It's so much late. Oh, uh, it's not that hour again, it has changed. <laughs> Steffi always answer with a smile. <laughs> and then I tell myself, what a combination of zodiac signs. Yeah. <laughs> My God. Well, Capricorn. Capricorn. And Leo. <laughs> and Leo. And the Leo, the Leo can be dominant. Well, she's dominant. Maybe she's dominant. I can't see it. I can't oh. feel it. It's smooth. I'm a pussy cat. A pussy cat. A pussy cat. It is sweet and smooth. <laughs> so here we are, painting each other. Yeah. And we had some weeks over this. And yeah, we did this over a few weeks. Some um, over with my process, I, I, I did really, uh, I did the inner grisaille, which means yeah. you do the whole complete underpainting in tonal grays using a combination of paint. It's like a grey, black and white paint. With all the combinations of greys first. You do yeah. all your toners first, and then you glaze in the colour afterwards. Well, I, I, with, with the greys, I, I wanted to follow Ruby. I wanted to her, do her in the, um, the Flemish, uh, the Dutch type of portrait, mm -hmm. traditional Dutch type of portrait, 
work, which I first, I first did you on a background, very dark, you know, the Dutch, Dutch uh, masters did a, a the, the, the figure and behind it was a very dark brown a umber nice background. Dark brown color. That's the idea I had. But when I found out I had made a mistake, I corrected it. I redid it because I put I didn't take into account your your skin tone. Yeah. It didn't go with that Dutch style. So I had to I re I lightened all the background again and then it brought out all of the the, the subtleties in her tones. Yeah, the warmth. Mm -hmm. And then I, I, mean, I, I can't really use that with people who have a, a darker complexion. Yeah. So that was a good learning uh, opportunity to learn for me. That, that you can't, not all, every type of um, painting style suits yeah. uh, different people. And I would tell yeah. you, Steffi, you, you, you offered me the Grisai style. And I, I'm so happy I received it. And I followed your steps into the graves that I started to walk the grays, just as you were talking there. And for me, in my opinion, sometimes your grays look so beautiful <laughs> that you don't want to glaze the color. So if you glaze in the color, you got to get a real nice effect. That's true. Yeah. Oh, so those sometimes when you do it, doing in grisaille, mm -hmm. uh, you get the tonal, the tonal, um, yeah, some, some of the pieces you've done in t a tonal grey mm -hmm. is so expressive that when you carefully add colour to it, it might destroy that, that ambience, the atmosphere of it. So really we have to pick and choose very carefully yes. how strong the, the actual the top colour we're going to use. It has to be nice. It's best to be more subtle. And I also have to know the art of glazing. Yeah. That exactly. is another art that yeah. I have discovered there. Yeah. Glazing. Oh and so and much yes, so and that transparency, you can look through and through the layers and see how beautiful the work is coming. Yeah. Yes. So I am now stuck with grisaille and glazing. Is there something you never stop learning? Because glazing is just something, as if you know, as an artist, doing glazing, it's like, if you know a little bit, then you realise that you know, there's so much little you, you know. You, you know, think, oh, you know so a lot, but from it. you know, you never know as much as you want to know. No. It's like you always, start, you always have a beginner's mind. You're always thinking, oh, God, there's so much and little I don't know. Yeah. Well, I think too, so, what we should, um, this is a good advice to all artists. What we should do is look at the little paints and see, really look and see what is transparent and what is non-transparent because mm -hmm. when you want to glaze, you're using your transparent colors, mm -hmm. right Steph? Yeah. And sometimes not having the knowledge, you will use the opaque color, mm -hmm. try to thin in it to glaze, yeah. but it's not like, yeah. not like a transparent. So we like, we can make mistakes, but you know, we have yeah. to be grateful for those yeah, mistakes because we learn. Continue making mistakes. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. learn a lot. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. you just can't do it. Uh, but I, you know, I'm over. I'm so happy with, with my. She's portrait. happy with her portrait. I <laughs> am so happy with my portrait. And we both have different styles, like. And you know, I'm very traditional. You know, you don't express it. We meet each other. We don't try to emulate like each other's styles. We both. Yeah, we have similar technique in, in the painting process, but uh -huh. we, we we both have different style, uh, different styles of painting. Yeah, what I like about this too, is it brings the friendship closer because when you're walking now, I'm shaping those eyebrows, the eyes, and the little wide little wisp of hair. No, and you don't want to tame it either. And no, that's you're right. <laughs> you don't want to tame it. And that's what I tell you what you said. I could sit down and look at you and those little wisps of hair flying around your face. Strays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. No, thank you. So I try to capture that. I try to capture that. And look at that braid. Oh, God, that braid. Sometimes she braids her hair. It's free today. It's free today. It's looking like angel dust today. Oh my, God, my angel <laughs> hair. Yeah. yeah, it's a pleasure, Steffi, and thank you a whole oh, lot. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I, just, I hope I captured your, the, the smile in your eyes, and you've got a smile in your mouth. That's a but smile. But those eyes of hers are so expressive. 
I have a lot of smiles though. I want to tell you and let everyone know that I have different smiles. This one. <laughs> this one uh, is close to flirting and it's close to friendly. It's in between. Yeah. That one. And you know that look, Steffi. Yeah. And you know the kind of jokes <laughs> what come with this look. She's like, she's like, she just told you something and she's just waiting for you, looking at you. She's like, waiting for it. Is the penny going to drop? Is the penny going to be? Did she get it? Steffi sometimes is more the serious type. Steffi, imagine that. I'm older than you, Steph. Yeah. But sometimes you can be the serious tongue type. And I have to keep on with the jokes until you laugh. She's like, wait, she's going to... Is the penny going to drop in her head? She's thinking there. She's looking at me and going, it's going to drop any minute now. <laughs> oh. yeah. Wow, this has been an experience. Yeah, I enjoyed meeting you. And, and you know, I'm glad, I'm glad and happy <laughs> that we did this. Yeah. It comes to me now, I don't say we spit in each other. It comes to me like it's a gift to one another. Yeah. A gift. We give each other a great gift. Canvas, yeah. oil on canvas, mm -hmm. in the style of design. This is going to live on because I have my kids yeah. and I have grandkids. Then I have great grandkids. Mm -hmm. This is going to be in the family step feature. Yeah. yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. You, and you have your family back home. Yeah, my, yeah, yeah, I have my sisters and my nephews and my nieces. Something and my brothers to cherish. Yeah. Yeah. So we are. But you, 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 you've done self-portrait before. Yes, I did. Like, a I mean, self -portrait. I've done self-portrait. Yeah, the one self-portrait. Yes, I did but a self-portrait in pastel. Of yourself, yeah. But I have never, no one has ever port painted a portrait. This is the first portrait. Oh, I'm so okay. honoured that this is the. The only, so no one has ever done a portrait of me. Um, yeah. Has anyone done one of you just the first time? Or have you, had you know, before you did this one, mm -hmm. you remember you did a smaller oh, square yeah, the one? Oh, little one with the tree. Yeah, I did that. So I have done two. I, did two I have two portraits that my friend has done for me. And now I am doing a portrait for you. So this is something to cherish. Is something oh, I'm certainly going to tell you. And wow, it was an experience. It was. It was indeed. Oh yeah. <laughs> the dress now, let me talk about her dress. Her dress had tones of uh, a little bit of aquas and light, light yellows. But when I go, I went into those soft cadmium yellows, like. Mm -hmm. It was falling too much into the skin tone. Yeah. Um, My opinion. Yeah, and you changed it. I was seeing too much with that. If everything had stayed in that soft cadmium yellow, it would have blended with your skin and your hair. Mm -hmm. So that's why I came up with those reds and a little viridian green and some accents of white. And that accent of white made a combination to make your dress attractive, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And I like your little necklace. Oh, uh, I know that necklace very well. Mm -hmm. I got one from you as a gift. Yeah, so the same. same. Yeah, yeah. Oh. the same. Thank you. So. Yeah, it's yeah. funny, we both, we didn't just decide, but we both did a, the background, our background is green. Yeah, yeah so too. You know, uh, I, like would say, I would <laughs> say, I would say, at my home here, and this beautiful setting in Freer's Bay, it, I call it a little cultural park. Yeah. All around are trees and fruit trees and flowers and plants, and when the wind blows, you hear the trees whispering. All the leaves. Just now the wind was blowing, yeah. and the mangoes were swinging on the trees. Yeah, you saw a little stub, you know, the and mango falls off the tree. Yes, so and, and because we are in that beautiful green setting, 
and, yeah. your, and your subconsciousness. You can't help it. You, you go with yeah. greens yeah. in your bathroom. You're right. Yes, because we are we are surrounded. in the green. Surrounded by the we green. are surrounded in the green. And we are surrounded in the bright sunlight too. Yeah, I'll do a bit of footage of the surrounding area because very it's really nice. Thank you, Steph. Thank you, Ruby. I thank Ruby. you, my Steffi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us. I hope you liked our little um, documentary. Yes, I am very, very much um, thrilled. Okay. I never, I did many uh, interviews, but this one is so different. <laughs> yeah, this special. Yep. So thank I you. want to thank everyone for watching. And thank you. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Thanks for for Friday. Bye. <laughs>